FX and New York Times new documentary on Britney Spears reveals the smoking guns we've been waiting for. Netflix, what? A lot of us have been so excited for this Netflix documentary, but they're going to have to do some heavy lifting to try to beat what Hulu, FX, and the New York Times just did. I am still shook by these witnesses that they were able to bring forward to finally confirm what we've all been reporting, which we all have known, but finally people are standing up to speak up and we must speak up loudly to share and spread this story, get this documentary seen and get the courts, Jamie, and new people that were spotlighted in this documentary to have full investigations into because now we have witnesses declaring criminal activity. So guys, let's break this down. I have a lot of notes here. Bear with me. I'm gonna share with you the most important bombshells that we must be repeating and remembering as we move forward. Now, remember, we will be live Wednesday next week, the 29th. Christopher, will I, Christopher Melcher and I, attorney, will be there in Beverly Hills reporting live. I hope we get to see a lot of you there. I'm going to put a link at the end of this. Uh, but 29th is an important day because that's when they are officially supposed to finally remove Jamie. Uh, and after this documentary, I don't know how they're not going to be able to do it. Uh, so this was made by the New York Times' Liz Day. Bravo, Liz, who produced segment producer on this, along with Samantha Stark. Uh, this is a follow-up to the Framing Britney documentary, and it does a much better job summarizing everything and bringing in witnesses. And I got to give... Uh, massive props to the witnesses that they brought in. Uh, again, before I even get to the witnesses, the, again, it's important to recap like this documentary does. The conservatorship is established in the best interest of the conservatee, in this case, Brittany. What is in the best interest of Brittany? It is usually a last resort, uh, and it's established for, uh, at least in California, for people who can't feed themselves, clothe themselves, or shelter themselves. Uh, and as they, as Liz and, and the documentary points out, if it was there for substance abuse, there would be tens of thousands of, uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, conservatorships out there for anybody who's ever had a problem. But no, uh, Brittany was apparently so out of it uh, she's immediately put to work, though, in 2008 by her father, and the documentary speaks to four major figures who were involved during that time period, including Felicia, who's back. Now, those of you who are fans of uh, Brittany, you know Felicia. She's her former longtime assistant. She is such a sweet person, and her uh, testimony here is heartbreaking. Uh, we also have Dan George, uh, who is the promotional tour manager uh, for the circus tour. He came off of a tour with Shakira. This is a professional guy, and he comes back and spotlights a lot of things because he knew this was an important year because Britney was going through so much trouble. He was there to help make sure it went smoothly. We also have Tish Yates, Britney's head of wardrobe from 2008 to 2010. And then again, from 2013 to 2018, she was there for it all. But the real, real, real damning evidence comes from as Alex Vlaslov. Now, this is an executive assistant and operations and cybersecurity manager for Black Box Security from 2012 to 2021. Now, he was the right-hand man to the security operation, and this is something we have not been speaking up about as loudly. And uh, according to Alex, this is going to be very, very bad news for the head of Black Box, Idan Yamini, who we have here. Now, Idan has been in so many photos as the head of security, but what we didn't know until today, thanks to Alex's extremely brave testimony, they were tracking everything. He reveals that Jamie tracked Britney's every move. They mirrored every device she had, all text images. Uh, they were put recording devices in her bedroom. Uh, there's so much stuff he revealed here. And it went to three people, guys. Idan uh, Yamini, Jamie, and Robin Greenhill, who is a staffer manager at TriStar Sports Entertainment Group. Now, TriStar, we've alluded to this woman a lot. Uh, she's finally mentioned in this documentary, Miss Lou Taylor, who's very litigious out there, doesn't want her name. She's been removing her name from things as quickly as she can because she knows the walls are closing in on her. Karma, man, it's a bitch. Uh, and uh, we, we have not spoke enough about Robin. Well, it's time we do because Alex reveals Robin was on the receiving end of every single message message, text, email, photo, anything Brittany did, Robin got it. Why would the manager need that kind of access to have this kind of, I, I, I don't get it. Why did these three people need this kind of access? And there they all are, all three of them there with Brittany, always at her back. 
Uh, he, uh, Alex tells us a story about Idan saying he was so relieved when Black Box and TriStar weren't mentioned when the first documentary was released uh, because even in her, uh, everything was being monitored. And, and Adan had said a quote like, well, she's like a child. Uh, and like any minor, she needs our parental consent. Uh, you know, the, her parents' consent, rather. Uh, and so he went in and revealed this shocking tidbit that I want to share first. This was one of the most shocking things, and it's early in the documentary. One of the new agents that was working there was asking me, how is it okay that we're in charge of her medication? You know, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, we, we, we were given prepackaged envelopes. We have to hand them to her, and she can't leave. She has to take it there. And, you know, every time that was brought up or, or discussed, it was like, this is what security should be doing because, you know, this is what the client is asking for, and this is what the client needs. Was the client asking for it, or...? The client is Jamie. Whoa, 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 whoa. The security was giving Brittany meds based off of what the client, Jamie, wanted. Now, this opens up... Guys, this is huge to finally have someone. And let's be clear, this guy isn't just talking. He said, she said, this guy brought evidence. He gave it to New York Times. They don't reveal a lot of it because I'm assuming and hoping... Britney's lawyer has it all, and they don't want to reveal it all just yet because you don't want to just put it all out there, even though we all want to hear these tapes and things to make to, to catch Jamie. No, 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 no. I imagine this is a beautiful, hey, Jamie. Hey, 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 man, remember? We were recording it all, and guess what? Alex came and just gave it to us, and you don't know what he gave us. So you want to answer those questions again? It's going to be so much harder for them to play stupid now, now that they know there is evidence recorded. This is massive, guys, massive. And for Alex to now come forward with evidence and declare that the security was giving her medication, new security showing up and giving Britney medication, this is so effed up. It's even more effed up than we thought. Well, we at least thought, well, there was some doctor getting paid to do it. No, Jamie was telling the security to administer the medication. I'm in shock. Alex goes on and shares a lot more. He talks about how their eye, Brittany wanted an iPhone early on. And so they were all worried. Well, how are we going to get her an iPhone? Because we can't monitor it. It's new, yada, yada. And so they figure out, well, how can they do that? They, you know, uh, and then so Don comes to Alex and says, how do we establish parental controls for this device? Because Brittany's communication needs to be monitored for her own safety and protection is what they keep saying over and over again. Uh, Alex at that point even asked Don the, the legality of this. Are we even allowed to do this? And he said, yes. The court is aware of this. Britney's lawyer is aware of this. This is for her safety. It's for her protection. Britney's lawyer and the court were aware of this? Now, New York Times isn't able to confirm that because that would be massive if, they, if, if we can prove that. I mean, they haven't revealed it yet. I'm sure a lot of people are shaking in their boots because now we have a witness who's at least saying this happened. And he may have some evidence to prove it. Who knows what Rosengard has? He hasn't been showing us a lot. But now I'd be shocked if he didn't have this intel too. Uh, now we have an accusation that the lawyers and the court knew she was being monitored. Did Brittany? Because that's illegal. You got to get all parties case. In fact, mirroring text without the consent, both parties can be illegal. It's unclear if the court actually knew this, but they absolutely can't monitor her conversations with her lawyer. They were monitoring her conversations with Sam Ingham, guys. Alex confirms this. I mean, I'm just, I'm still shook by it all. She says it didn't feel like she was treated like a human being. She was treated like property. She also reveals that Adon, uh, Alex reveals that Adon had put an audio device in her bedroom and there are over 180 hours of recordings with her conversations private conversations with her boyfriend her children her lawyers this is this is insane it is illegal to record people's conversations somewhere private without their knowledge and consent it's unclear if the court was aware or had approved this uh adon told alex that it was extremely sensitive and now this is uh, there's a big moment here there's a moment where um I, new york times article sort of reveals this too but there's a big moment where he uh adon adon had come to alex and gave him sort of this recording device said this needs to be wiped deleted completely so there's no record of it uh it's super sensitive and alex didn't want to be complicit at this point so many red flags have been going off already this was the final red flag where he's like no. And so he privately kept a copy because uh, he didn't want to delete evidence. Uh, and it was done days before Brittany had a meeting with a court investigator, which is even more terrifying. So this this black box recorded by black box where they were clearly doing things they knew they weren't allowed to do and being told to delete. Alex kept a copy of 
and he gave it now a clear. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and assuming Rosengard has this box. Well, he can at least say he does. <laughs> and so good luck to Adon, everybody else who thought this was wiped. It's not. Um, and then Alex goes on and explains how Brittany did not want to be there for her rehab, tre rehab treatment. Um, and it's illegal to force a conservatee into a mental health facility against their will. Well, uh, the New York Times also got texts from Brittany that they re read where Brittany's admitting this, saying she doesn't want to be there. She's admitting my lawyer doesn't work for me. Uh, there's a whole instance they talk about, uh, which Alex reveals uh, and the New York Times reporter together uh, because of these texts. Brittany was trying to get a lawyer. This is in 2019. She's trying to get this new lawyer to help her. Uh, and the lawyer can't come in because she's afraid they're not going to let the lawyer in. So she asked the lawyer to dress like a plumber. And the, the lawyer's apparently like, no, nah, I can't. This is too much. I can't do that. I can't do that. Dude, all of this was still monitored by Jamie, Robin, and Idan. Her trying to get a lawyer monitored. How is this in her best interest? How is that in her best interest? This is horrific. Uh, and then the, the, this the, the massive bombshell, and I'm wearing my shirt because, man, I'm wearing it proudly. Free Britney, baby. Uh, to all you guys out there in the Free Britney movement, not only were you right, they were worried about you. And they and, and Idan, and, and Idan uh, Alex confirmed that Idan was tracking and monitoring people in the Free Britney movement. They were out there sneaking themselves into the crowds and figuring out who were big fi factors into the movement and then they were writing bios and doing it. Megan Radford of a so-called Free Britney movement that classified, was classified as high risk due to her creation and sharing of information. Holy crap! Fighting that, till the conservatorship ends, now she's a threat to Britney. This is horrific. This is horrific. Uh, undercover agents were put in there. Uh, it was orchestrated. Uh, so, and then, so they, all of it was orchestrated. Uh, here's the other clip I wanted to get to. All of it's orchestrated so much so that uh, uh, Alex confirms. That, and, and, and this clip, they, they, without even realizing it, the documentary confirms, if you're paying attention, how TMZ also complicit. Look at this. Because he's confirming all this was faked out after that rehab treatment. They put her in a hotel and it was all staged. How'd you that, it was orchestrated that she would come out of the hotel to show the public that you have nothing to worry about. Look. Brittany is walking around. She's with her oh. boyfriend. These photos are a big deal because obviously here she is out and about. Clearly she's not a prisoner at this facility. She's not. Clearly she's not a prisoner in this situation. And then Harvey Levin, the monster, Harvey Levin. She's not. She's not a prisoner here. Harvey Levin, who gets paid by Jamie, allegedly. Seemed, I, I can't wait till we can prove that, Harvey. How dare this teams, they are just, the, they are despicable sitting out there creating this narrative. Oh, she's clearly not a prisoner. You two are an embarrassment to news. You aren't news. Oh, disgusting. How much, how complicit you two are on all this. You should be ashamed of yourselves. She's not a prisoner. When she came home, uh, Alex reveals also that the security made her, uh, they, they, they alerted her that, uh, and gave her a new phone that could only make calls. They eliminated any other way. So they literally, as she got back from this mental, but it's still clear why was she even forced into this rehab center against her will? Well, then when she got back, she's such a risk. She could only make calls to people. They were cutting everyone out of her life. And so then cue in uh, witness two, which we have here, Dan George. Dan George, who was the promotional tour manager, steps in. Uh, he would help Shakira and stuff. Uh, and, he, and he talks about how insane 2018 was. This is the year she's put in to work right after she's put in this conservatorship. She's doing a promotional tour for circus, press around the globe, et cetera, uh, all around. X Factors this year. She goes to New York to, for, and then, uh, for GMA and then LAA for Christmas tree lightings and then Ellen tapings. She's going to Japan. And the court approves all this thinking she's mentally fit to handle it. I, I'm sorry. She's so out of it. She's such a, a risk to herself. How are they allowing her to do all this work? It really begs the question of who is getting paid and why. Who's, who's really involved in this? It's, it's, this is scary, scary stuff, guys. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still shook by it all. There, there was another clip here. I don't... Uh, uh, I want to make sure I play this one more clip. Sorry, I thought... Here it is. The, this clip really, really bugged me. ...brings in the more money everyone makes. So they're, they're talking about the money that this thing makes in TriStar. Um, oh, no, sorry, I have it here. This is the clip. So they're talking to Robin Greenhill here. This one's really important. I don't care if I'm not allowed to. We better be able to play clips. This is news. I'm commenting on it. This is fair use, YouTube. Uh, and this clip in question is often argued about. 
But it, this is imperative that we hear this clip because we're speaking directly about these people and whether they did something truthful or not. And this has now become news, part of documentary footage. This clip should be fair game. And we need to be playing this clip more often because here are the culprits. They had the audacity to film themselves doing this. Here's Robin Greenhill. She's wanting to know when she's going to start full run throughs because right. she wants to chronologically go through these things, get it under her. Larry and Rudolph, there as well. To do. I had to have Robin's approval before I spoke with Brittany about a question Brittany had. And she can work two. Two, two is her birthday. Is she going to be okay working on her birthday? Sure. What do you sure. What do you want her to play? What do you want her to, play? What do you want her to do on her birthday? Yeah, she'll work on her birthday. What do you want? Guys, this is literally, this is the woman who has such mental issues, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This woman, Robin, who works with, with Lou Taylor at TriStar. Yeah, yeah, she'll work on her birthday. Sure, what do you want? Yeah, she'll do, what do you want her to do? I mean, because she rehearsed on her birthday. She's going to rehearse. Yeah, that's what I'm She's going to rehearse on her birthday. And then the idiot in the back. Uh, uh. What kind of things would she do? What would she control? She, every, like little, little things. Like, Brittany would say, hey. She'd control everything. There's, I'm, I'm looking for the clip with the parents because there's another one here. Here it is. Uh, is there any way we could have sushi yeah, for dinner? And I would hear Robin say, you had sushi yesterday. It's too expensive. You you don't need it again. Maybe too, She's making millions and she's it's too, sushi is too expensive. There's a lot more behind that. I'm only no, seeing no. the outside. But if she pushed back a little bit, they pushed harder. And then the yelling got louder. Then Jamie would come up and say, no, you're not, you're not having this. And then it would escalate to not having the boys. <sighs> now I'm infuriated. We have a witness. We've, we've heard all this from reliable sources, but now we have witnesses on camera admitting it. When at, because Brittany didn't want sushi, it would escalate to, well, then you don't get the boys tonight. But Jamie, you need to give us the days that she has the kids and needs to be home. I'll take care of the kids. I'll take care of the kids. So Brittany, again, remember, guys, I'm sorry. She's in a custody battle. She has shared custody with Kevin Federline, who we all want to take craps on. But now, now even when she gets her limited time as a parent of a you know, of, of child of who's, you know, divorced parents, that time is so special. I try everything I do not to work when I have my son. So I make my limited time. I can be there, right? So on her limited time, her dad said, I'll take care of the kids. And she'll just come in wherever, because I'm going to be the one to go stay with the kids. He's just staying with the kids during her, her time. God, that really makes me mad. That really makes me mad. And anybody out there who's like, why are you doing the story, Andy? Oh, you're doing it for the money. No, that's what I'm doing it for. That is heartbreaking. That is awful. And it infuriates me. This man is a monster, and he knows exactly what he was doing. He's what put it working his daughter to the bone to cash in, guys. And it wasn't even just that. It keeps getting worse. There was Trish Yates. Thank you, Trish. At Tish, everybody. Thank you. Coming forward, acknowledging. Uh, and Felicia. Sorry, I want to go to Felicia next. Felicia, her longtime person, she tells the story about how they told her, Brittany doesn't want to see you anymore. Brittany doesn't like you. If she sees you around, she's not going on stage. This is her friend. And then she's horrified. She's like, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And at the end, she accidentally brumps in and she's like, everyone's like, oh no, you're not supposed to see her. And Brittany goes, oh, Felicia, where have you been? And Felicia immediately knows, oh, they're trying to pit us against each other. They're telling us different things. They were trying to remove her support system. They were trying to remove anybody who would ask questions or who would be there for her. All of her friends, Dan George verifies this. Any, he would say, don't get, too, don't get too close to her. People who get too close have a, often get, disappear. This is the, the, a quote that the man, I guess Robin or one of the managers said. Ugh. It's infuriating what you realize when you start hearing all this. And then Tish also f realizes uh, and, and he talks about how much it wasn't just Jamie, it was Robin. Robin Greenhill, that clip I played you, she was controlling everything. Everything had to go to her. And she's like, I don't even know who, what her role is. I thought it was Britney's assistant. None of us knew Robin's job title. You just knew she worked for TriStar. Why is she here? That's, a, that's the management, business management. That's not the tour manager. You're a party rogue scheduler. This is a professional concert you know, wardrobe person who's worked for multiple high-level talent. And she's like, who is this person? Oh, it's just Robin. Okay, I guess we got to just do what we got to do. Uh, and they all talk about, uh, you know, the first rule is you don't talk about the conservatorship. You don't talk about it. 
Uh, Tish also confirms the dancer story where Brittany ran off stage crying because of the smell of pot on stage. She was worried about failing a drug test because and, and then she wouldn't be able to see her kids. Tr Tish was there and confirms it again. Tish shares this moment where Brittany wanted to buy a pair of shoes. And she's like, uh, you can't get the pair of shoes. It was a pair of Skechers. M millionaire Britney Spears and the con team con is telling her, no, she can't afford to have Skechers. So Tish, bless her heart, figures out a way to like expense it for the wardrobe budget. And is like, just take them. And she's having to like work in expense trickery to give Britney Spears a pair of Skecher shoes. And again, all of this because of her, and, and all of it, she's like, she says she was always dismissed. You didn't have, she, she, people would be like, well, she doesn't even have control of her life, so she doesn't get a say. So eventually, Tisha's take was, she just gave in. She had to. There wasn't, there wasn't a no because of the kids. Uh, and she's like, there's many of us who saw this. This isn't he said, she said. There are so many people who saw and heard. We're all just afraid because they can take our jobs away. And the saddest part of all of it, uh, the saddest part, the, the judge knew. Reva Goats, who's now conveniently uh, retired. They, they, Britney, when Brittany was worried about uh, her father drinking again, uh, uh, because he's an alcoholic. He's a former alcoholic. He's a former alcoholic, and she, he was doing, I guess, scheduled alcohol tests. And uh, Brittany, and, and Sam, through Sam, her attorney, was like, well, he, we, she, want, she wants him to have random dr alcohol tests to make sure he's sober. And the judge has the gall to go, who is she to be demanding that of anybody? Uh, the mother of her children, who the guy's in charge of? I think she has a right to also make sure that the alcoholic who's in charge of her life isn't back on the on the booze, you know, for the, for Britney's best interest and the conservative best interest. Maybe we should, you know, look into it. The same judge who, when asked when when Britney was trying to understand, can she have kids, etc., can she get married? The judge's quote: "I don't recall that we made any orders about the right to marry, but you may not want to tell her that." Why? What do you mean you may not want to tell her that? Guys, this is effed up. On top of it all, we now have evidence that they were recording things. So here are the most, uh, Gerald, uh, Geraldine Weil and Gerald Cohen, the two l biggest attorneys that we're not allowed to say their names because everyone's afraid to say these people's names. L Sam writes them. Brittany's asked me to advise. Security wants to retain physical blah, blah, blah of her phone. She's requested a new one. A request is completely appropriate. Uh, with regard to any new phone, ethically, I need to get written confirmation that no one other than my client can access her calls, voicemails, or texts directly or indirectly. And they write back, Jamie confirms that he has no access to her calls, voicemails, or texts. Well, there's a lot of evidence now that proves otherwise. Uh, thanks to the brave uh, stepping forward of this man, Alex. Uh, these three people here, whoo, God, I would not want to be them this week. They are not in a good place, and we have to remember all of their names. I want you to remember these people's names because these are the people that need to be investigated. I'm talking about uh, not only Jamie. We've been talking about Jamie a lot, but Ad Adine Yamini. Yeah, now your name's in the news, Adine. Not a good place to be. Robin Greenhill, you got some splaining to do, Robin. And yeah, we're looking at you, Lou Taylor, as well. Let's not forget Lou Taylor. And yeah, I want to go back to Reva Goats. Reva Goats, who managed just to retire and gets away with us. I think we need to look a little bit more into this case. Judge Brenda Penny has now taken over. But guys, we are going to make sure we say those names loud and often. Uh, if you want to keep updated on this story, I beg of you, please hit that subscribe button so we can get you updated. Hit the bell. Take this case seriously. Jamie and everybody wants you to think it's done. The conservatorship's over. Jamie's stepping down. At, no. They want more money and they want to cover it all up. This isn't about just Britney. This is about all conservatorships. This is unethical. This is illegal. This is not right what happened to her. And, it's, and if it can happen to Britney Spears, think of all the elderly or anybody else who's stuck in a situation like this. This is horrific. We will be reporting on Wednesday, the 29th, next week, uh, live from Beverly Hills all throughout the day. I'll be recapping a lot of this as well. Please make sure you join us. In fact, I'm going to put it right there. It's on the left. Click the set reminder. Go there. Click set reminder. Join us live. We're going to be there. Free Britney Spears. We have her back. Thank you guys so much for watching.